Hello, this is Furry Murray 7 and if you are playing a Fable Anniversary or Fable the Lost Chapters, I have an amazing trick that's going to make you instant piles of money, uh, and, uh, you can do this right at the beginning of the game, and the best part is you don't need a bunch of money to start out. You only need 214 coins. That's it. <laughs> Just 214 coins, and within minutes, you will be an instant millionaire. And so, um... So what you need to do, uh, right, th right at the very start of the game, just go to Bowerstone. And once you're in Bowerstone, you're going to talk to the merchant right next to the entrance to the gate. You ha it has to be daytime in order for the merchant to appear. But you talk to the merchant, and what you're going to do is you're going to buy green apples. Um, you're going to buy the green apples. Now, the thing is that it's only going to work if the vendor has a whole bunch of those apples in stock. So you want to make sure that he has the maximum number of items. He has a, he can carry a maximum of 214 apples. So you need to make sure that he has 214 apples to sell to you. Now on there, you can see right there that it says the amount of time that it takes for him to get more apples in stock. So for me, I have to wait at least one day to for him to get more apples. So what you want to do is... Uh, you want to wait until the day he gets apples in, and then go there. So for me, I, I'm not going to buy the apples right now. I'm going to wait a day. Uh, you, it is possible for you to do it even if he isn't plum full of apples, but eh, you won't get as much of an effect. So what you're going to do, a uh, great way to wait, uh, you can sleep. <clears throat> You could, uh, in order to make the time go by faster, or use a moonfish, or if you don't have 214 coins, you can sell some items. You can play the pub game in the in the uh, uh, the card payers game. I'm actually going to make a video on how to excel in that game so that you can make money faster. Um, but uh, the card payers game is just to get to make you enough money to get started. Now you can sleep in the bed to make time go by faster. That's going to cost 36. 35 gold every time you sleep, so about 75 or uh, 70 or so gold uh, in order to go one full day. So um, just sell a random item that you don't need, or just play the pub game. Click on my video on how to play that. But uh, on the morning that the vendor is full of apples, go to the vendor, and uh, if you look, now you may have noticed this before. But, uh, now that he's full of apples, his apples are really, really cheap. Whenever a vendor has a whole bunch of a particular item, they're going to be able to sell those items for really cheap. But the thing is that every time they sell some of those items, they get more and more expensive. Down to where the vendor only has one left, and then, you know, then it's super expensive. So, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to buy all of these apples at the exact same time. So, you're going to click Buy Maximum. So, what you did was you paid... Uh, one gold uh, uh, for those apples. Now, when you go to the sell tab, you can see that you can you're actually paying that you're actually getting back two gold, so you're making a profit of one gold per apple. So, when you buy them all and then sell them all, you actually get more money. And so, if you look down, uh, I now have. 4,000 coins, and before I only had 3,786 coins. So, that's pretty cool. And so, um, now I actually have, a, I'm actually going to make a video uh, describing in detail the entire mercantile system in Albion. So, uh, you don't have to worry about that, but just qu very quickly, the number in parentheses is the amount that they're worth. The number outside of the parentheses is how much you're paying, or if you're in the sell tab, that's the n that's the amount you're getting if you sell them. And the the amount under that, it says profit or loss, that's how much money the game will do the math for you and calculate how much money you'll make or lose. Uh, if you sell them. Now you now this the great thing is this doesn't have to work with just apples. You can do it with basically anything. Here you can see I'm doing it with blueberry pies or apple pies. You can you can theoretically do this trick with any item that any merchant sells. However, it's only going to work is if uh, it's only going to work if the the vendor has enough of that item in stock, like a whole bunch of that item in stock all at the same time. And even then, um, yeah, sometimes I, um, uh, uh, it, it, you know, it, it will 
it will help if you get a point in Guile, in the Guile stat. Just go to go to the uh, Heroes Guild and go to Skill and scroll down until you see Guile. Guile will help you make more money in Merchants, but you don't need Guile. I'm doing, with this character I'm using, I'm, uh, I'm not using any Guile at all. But you can do this with anything, especially when you get to Oakvale and they sell jewels, and you can sell those for 5000 apiece. You can make hundreds of thousands in just seconds. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure you watch my other Fable videos, and make sure that you please, pretty please, like and subscribe.